Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. So guys, in this particular video, I will be discussing today's Accenture latest coding question. I will be discussing total two coding questions in this video, and they were both asked on second December 2024, that is today only. So guys, make sure that you're watching this video till the end because in past also lot of coding question videos of Accenture I have made and lot of repetition have also happened in the uh, in these questions. So make sure that you're watching this video till the end. Before moving ahead, make sure to uh, hit that like and subscribe button for this channel because again for different different companies I am posting videos for interview experiences also and for coding questions also. So do not miss any of these updates on this channel and make sure that you're present on this channel. And do join this Telegram group also. It is dedicated for 2025 batch students. The links you'll find in the description box. So guys, now let's start this video. And before starting the video, please hit that like button. Okay, so guys, first of all, question one, we will read the question and try to understand it. And then we will have a better understanding by looking at the code of question one and the approach of it. Okay, so let's start with the question one. So you are a gardener watering plants in a straight line. Each plant requires a specific amount of water. You have a watering can of capacity K liters starting at first plot. Okay. So what it is saying that, okay, there are N number of plants that are there at uh, each step in a straight line. Okay. You have a water can whose capacity is K liters. Okay. So you have to water them all. Okay. Now, starting at the first plant, refill the can when needed by going back to the starting point. So if I will say that, let's suppose here, are, these are the watering plants. Okay. And this is the capacity that, uh, and K is the capacity. Okay, K is the capacity of the watering can. So K equal to five. So first of all, it will come to the first plant. It will water it. Now it will uh, the water in the can remain four only. Okay, then it will go towards the two. Then the water in the can remain two only. Then it will go to the third plant, <laughs> but it won't be able to refill. It won't be able to give the enough water to it. So what it will do? It will, the person will go back to the starting point, refill the can, okay, then again come to this third plant, okay, and then give give the water to it. This is what will happen, okay. So, refill the can when needed by going back to the starting point. It, it's saying like this. Return to the starting point only when the can is empty or cannot provide enough water for the next plant. So, like this, we had two here and the water required by the next plant was three. So, therefore, it had to return to the starting point to refill it. Next. Output the total time to water all the plants. Okay, each step between plants take one unit of time. So this watering of this plant takes one unit of time. This plant takes one unit of time. This plant takes one unit of time. Okay, then it has to go back and then again come back for the next plant. That time we also have to calculate. So this is the entire question. Okay, output the total time we have to uh, require for watering all the plants. Let's just see quickly with the help of an example. So we are given n equal to 6, this is the watering capacity of 6 plants, then k equal to 5, this is the watering capacity of the can that we are holding, okay. Output is 16, let's just see the explanation here. So first plant, okay, k equal to 5, let's just write here k equal to 5. So first plant requires 3 liter of water. So k 5, uh, in water can 5 liters are there and first plant is requiring 3 liter. So yeah, now k will become 2. And time we are calculating time also so time will become one unit next we will move towards the plant 2 the it is it has the capacity of 2 liters so therefore uh, in the can we are we will be giving 2 liters of water to it so k will become 0 here and time will become 2 here okay now since the water in the can has become 0 so we have to again go to the starting point and then come back to the next plant that is the third plant so we'll go to the starting point and the k will again become 5 but since we are moving back to the starting point till now we have covered two plants so 2 plus 2 because 2 uh, this 2 will have to go towards the starting point okay so it will become 4 and now we have to again come back to the third plant so therefore again plus 3 we are doing because it had to again come back to the third plant so till here it has become 7 okay so it has become 7 and it has watered the third plant also so this has again become one so i hope now this thing is clear to you after watering the third plant time has become seven and k has become one now refill again because see the next plant is of two and k is now one so again refill again <laughs> so <laughs> again going to the starting point and coming towards the current point 
it will be six okay so total th how many steps we have taken till now we have taken 13 steps till now and now our ka has again become five now it will water the plants fourth plant so fourth plant it has watered so time will become increased by one and k will decrease by one oh sorry decrease by two then moving towards the next plant time will increase by one and the, the capacity of next plant is one liter so k will now become sorry three it was there k will now become two next moving towards the, again the next plant next plant water capacity is two so k is two it will become zero and time will become 16 so this is the final time that we are giving as output i i hope now this question is clear to you in this we have to calculate the total time so time to go back to the starting point and coming back towards the current plant is also calculated so this is the exact catch of this particular question i hope now the question is clear to you now let's just quickly move towards the coding part of this particular question okay so guys before moving ahead i would like you to know that on our top mid page of code bashers we have accenture exam preparation material so guys many of you were asking me sir that our accenture exam is upcoming from where we should prepare so we have accenture exam preparation material <coughs> on our to top mid page <coughs> If you will open this link, you will find that in this particular link, you will have all the seven sections that are coming in the Accenture exam and their previous year questions as well as the answers. So in this particular material, you will find the English ability section 130 plus question, critical reasoning and abstract reasoning section 110 plus questions, common application and MS Office 150 plus previous year questions, pseudo codes 110 plus questions network security and cloud 120 plus questions and coding questions also 60 plus previously asked questions are there in this particular material okay so i know maximum of you do not know that from where to prepare common application and ms office and network <coughs> security and cloud because material is very much less on the internet so i have clubbed them all for all the sections i have clubbed the material and i have put it at one place so these are all previously asked questions in accenture every section you will get your question your options and your answers also so if you are interested and don't don't know that from where you should prepare for accenture exam then you can check out this material okay so it's very like i have what i have done i have clubbed them so if you will see sample pdfs also so we have given you the question we have given you the options we have given the correct answer so it can be very much beneficial for you if you are interested the link of these material is in the description box as well as in the pinned comment you can check this sample pdf also we have like done it beautifully it's not it's it's a very structured material that we have tried to make okay question options and correct answer is given here. so you can check out the links are in the description box as well as in the pinned comment okay so now let's move towards the coding part of the current question okay so guys for saving time i have already written the code here so see this is the function that we have to complete we are given n that is number of plants K, that is the capacity of the can that will we will use for watering the plants next is the capacity of each of the plants so first of all we will make in uh, we will declare a variable called current water okay it will be it will we will be starting with the full can so it will contain k liters of water next we have time zero that we calculate total time to water the plants it is starting with zero next we will be iterating over each and every plant <coughs> each and every element of the array okay if see if the current water if current water is greater than the amount of water needed by the current plant okay then we will do simply what we'll do we'll do current water minus a of i that is the water for the current plant and we'll do time plus plus so this was the case when we were doing that if the current water is in the can is greater than the capacity of the current plant so in this that case <coughs> we are doing current water minus equal to a of i and time plus plus <coughs> <coughs> but if there is a other condition that is if the current water inside a can is less than the current plants capacity in that case what we will do we will first have to calculate the turnaround time okay because it will go to the starting point and it will again come back to the same plant only and we will do current water equivalent to k we will do current water equivalent to k because it has refilled now so this is the uh, tricky step here to calculate the turnaround time if the current water in the can is not equivalent to the amount of water required by the plant so it will go back and it will come back okay so therefore time plus equal to 2 into i 
so this is the major step here and then once it has come back then again it will water the current plant and we will do time plus plus and in the end we are returning just the time i hope now that this code is clear to you just read through it again and you will understand it very easily so let's just quickly run towards our sample input and output okay so 6 is the number of plants and 5 is the capacity of that can so here the answer should be 16 so here you can see answer is coming out to be 16 so this particular code will pass all the test cases that will be given to you you can take the screenshot here okay so i hope now this question is clear to you okay now if you have found this video informative till here please hit that like and subscribe button okay and do join this telegram group also it is dedicated for 225 batch students now let's just move towards the second question of this video okay okay so guys the next question is you are given two arrays a and b each of size n you can reorder the elements in both the arrays find the minimum possible sum of products of corresponding elements from the two arrays after reordering again let's just read this line find the minimum possible sum of products of the corresponding elements from the two arrays after reordering what it means that if we have two arrays like this is the two array this is the first array this is the second array we have to find the combination in which if we try to multiply this element with this element this element okay this element with this element and then uh, again this element with this element so once we try to multiply these all the corresponding elements and then add them okay then add them the result should be minimum we have to reorder in such a way <clears throat> so let's just see with the help of example the things will become more clear so see 314 is the first array let me just write it here 314 is the first array 1 5 2 is the second array now there can be multiple like uh, permutations in which you can arrange these elements you can arrange these elements like 431 also okay 431 and the <coughs> below array can be 2 5 or 1 now if we try to do the product what it will come out to be so 4 into 2 is 8 okay once we try to uh, multiply the corresponding elements 4 into 2 is 8 3 into 5 is 15 plus 1 1 into 1 is 1 that will become 24 but if we try any other combination, if we try any other combination, let's suppose uh, 1, 3, 4. Let's suppose 1, 3, 4 or <coughs> uh, 5, 2, 1. Okay. 5, 2, 1. In this combination, what will be the answer? So, it will be 5 plus 6 plus 4. That is coming out to be 15. So, 15 is less than 24. And 15, if you will find any combination, you won't get answer less than 15. So, this is the minimum possible answer that we are getting so this is 15 is coming as output so again i hope the question is clear to you find the minimum possible sum of products of the corresponding elements from the two arrays after reordering so i hope now the question is clear to you now let's just quickly move towards the approach approach is very simple what we will do for the first array for the first array we will sort it in ascending order okay and the second array we will sort it in the descending order okay okay let us descending order we will do like that okay and we will calculate the sum for we will <coughs> multiply the corresponding elements and we'll find the sum and it will be the final output okay so this is the crux of this question i hope it's clear to you now let's just quickly move towards the coding part of it okay uh, but before moving towards the coding part again i would like you to know that on a top mid page of code bachelors accenture exam preparation material we have in which all the sections that are asked in extension exam are covered and for every section we have the previous year questions and we have the questions like in large quantity also like 130 plus questions 150 plus questions 120 plus questions so these are questions which were asked in previous years of extension exam okay and the, this material is updated and for 2025 batch students also the questions that have been asked are already updated in this particular material okay again if you are interested the links are in the description box or in the pinned comment but all the sections we have covered here okay and sample pdfs also we have given in those we have questions answers and the correct uh, the correct option okay i hope it's clear to you now let's just move towards the second coding question okay so what i have told you we will be getting two arrays and input and the size of the array so first of all we will <coughs> sort the first array in ascending order sort the second array in descending order 
and we will calculate the corresponding elements we will multiply and we will calculate them in the result variable and we will simply return the result. This is the simple answer for it, simple code for it. Let us see by running our sample input and output. So run. Okay. So let us see what, what it comes. <clears throat> so yeah, our, our maximum, uh, sorry, minimum sum of products is coming as 15 as we have discussed there. So I hope now that both the questions are clear to you. I will continue to make more such videos on this channel. So for that, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the uh, click that bell icon also so that you get, get the notification. And if you have not hit that like button till now, please do it and do join this exam group. It is dedicated for 2025 best students. The links you can find in the description box or in the pinned comment. Thank you for, for watching this video.